What is going on guys? My name is Daniel47 and today we're going to be talking about the ranking system in Halo 5 Guardians. Now just yesterday or the day before that depending on when I post this video, I was asked to explain the ranking system in Halo 5 so obviously guys that's what we're going to be doing today because I absolutely love getting feedback from you all and this video is for you. Um, forgot who said it. Uh, something Johnson. Something Johnson. But uh, anyways guys, before we get started, I'm sure you all already somewhat know how the ranking system works. Uh, with like losing CR every time you lose a match and such on and so forth. But however, you probably didn't know that for starters, CSR stands for Competitive Skill Ranking. I did not know that. If you know that, then good for you. I didn't know that though. So, now for all of you people that don't know the rankings though, there are two different kinds of leveling up in Halo 5. First off, there's the level, which has absolutely nothing to do with your rank and how you get matched up in Arena, which, it, yeah, I don't even really know what it's for, to be honest with you, because it doesn't give you anything but rec packs every time you level up, and even then, they're not even that good. I think they're like bronze or something. But even then, though, there's what you call competitive skill ranking, which is the other side of that, the other side of the coin, basically, which is, yeah, you know, the second leveling up. And that's where Arena comes into play. In all of Arena's playlists, you get ranked depending on how well you play and how much you win. This being said, the ranks you can get start off at Bronze, then go to Silver, then Gold, Platinum, and then Diamond. Each of these leagues has 1 through 6, and once you pass the number 6 in that league, then you end up in the next league up. So for a majority of you, these are the ones that you've been ranked into now, as the next two require much more CSR, and ranking isn't the same as the last ones that I just previously mentioned. So after Diamond comes Onyx League, this league is different because it doesn't have 6 levels to this league and instead it just shows you your raw CSR score, like mine is like 1536 I think or something like that. So this being said, in the last league for Onyx, right after that is Champion, the league you can only reach by being in the top 200 of Onyx League. So that's all the leagues, now let's get into the matches and let's get into how the matches are found, my bad. Matches are found by finding the exact CSR that you have, unless not plausible, in which case the closest matches are chosen. And they said on the page that was posted about all this that it would be like a very small skill gap. And that's what they say. That's what they say about it. But um, this being said, you will not end up in a match with someone in Champion League because he simply wouldn't have the same number of CSR as you. However, I have run into some higher level ranked people in matches, which I'm sure you all have as well because, I mean, it seems that a bunch of people are really mad about this ranking system. But uh, this could be the simple fact that you have other levels in your lobby, friends in your fire team that are simply not your CSR level and things like that. This causes higher or lower, lower, lower level ranked people to be in your game. Now if you're like me and want to get up to Onyx or Champion eventually, then you're in luck because Halo 5 comes with a seasons, which is kind of like Halo Reach's seasons over in uh, Team Arena, I think was the playlist, I don't know. It was something like super competitive over there and it had seasons as well, so they brought it over to Halo 5. And what happens is, like people that want to challenge yourself, then the opportunity to earn monthly rewards is in Halo 5. But at the end of each month, not including um, the end of October, because that was like four days of the game actually being out, but some playlists will reset your CSR only for that playlist, causing you to do ten more matches to find your league placement again. So that, guys, is basically a wrap-up of the entire Halo 5 ranking system. I really hope you enjoyed this video because it took me a lot of planning and I had to actually write down a script. Holy crap, dude, I had to write down a script and I was somewhat reading off of it and that was really difficult for me i i didn't even like read it the way it was written half the time but uh yeah anyways guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and if you did like it and you're not subscribed already i'm sure you will like some other of my videos too so be sure to subscribe check out any of my other videos share this video if you really liked it and tell people about my channel because that really helps and i love your feedback guys so if you have any more videos you would like to see then tell me down below in the comment section and i will definitely do a video for you all anyways i will see you in the next video guys bye